On my way to Shibuya today to go to some high beast cafe and also do some shopping and eat way more food. Cafe Kids today, and I got a homemade lemonade. I feel like I'm sitting in the best spot because you have Cafe Kids with time behind you. I got an iced latte here as well, and they do iced matcha, lemonades, little snacks. So it's more like a spot you just sit and chill. Either the fragment one or the undercover one. Damn it! <laughs> I got this guy. It's alright, we take it. <laughs> so I also bought two of these fabrics from the medical store. You know what? I'm not even gonna say which one I want because I feel like if I say that I'm not gonna get it. So let's open them. It's been a while since I bought one of these guys. Sorry. <laughs> Ta da! Who are you? <laughs> so, this one that I got was. I don't know, but it's this person here. Let's see this one. Please be somebody I know. Who? <gasps> it's the Ren! This is one I've done. I wanted to have a Ren and Simpy one. I got Ren. Got Ren, and we got somebody. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> design store at the moment they have such cute little things and I just saw something how cute is this and I have one of on my shirt matching <laughs> I'm now at Kids Treats and what they do here is either soft serve or milkshakes and then you can pick the set toppings that they have. So what I got this time was the Fikester. So on top there was Cocoa Pops, cereal, Oreo and the same ingredients also blended into the milkshake. It was really really good and it was about 900 yen so a little bit pricey. And if you want some merch, you also have some Kids Treats exclusive merch in there. I actually got another one because the first one was so good. It's on strawberry field. It's a black household in general sign out while I'm bobbing out to it in units in my stool. In the kitchen is nothing but broken promises and soul food. I'm posting macho like I was supposed to be. Foes can be wild. And I found the ambush store. Just over there. Wait. No. There. There's the ambush store. Considering the necklace, which looked like a cigarette case, but it was a little bit expensive. So for now, we got some t-shirts. They're just plain t-shirts with the ambush typeface on top. They're pretty cool. And they were about 900 something yen. They were this much. So not bad. Okay, let's move on. Currently in Ichiran Ramen, and we lined up for quite a while. I didn't even see how long we waited for. It was a while, <laughs> but we're finally in here. Just super excited about. Everyone gets to sit in their own little booth. You order your food through a vending machine, and it spits out a ticket. Right after that, they give you a form to fill out to select what level of spiciness you want, the richness of the soup, texture of the noodles. If you want spring onion, if you want meat in your thing, it's a pretty good system. There is Japanese, English, and Korean on the sheet. So if you don't understand Japanese, there is a few languages on. 
on that sheet and then they sit you in this little booth and then you wait for the food and you don't actually see anyone so there's no waiters that come and serve you and ask you what you want everything is given through this a blind that rolls up and they just give you your food This is what a level 10 spiciness looks like and then I got the set so it comes with black fungus, pork, nori This is the half oil salted egg I'm gonna taste this broth to see if it's spicy. A little bit spicy. I reckon I could have done level mm, 15, I think. I'm just putting in the, the extra toppings that I ordered into my noodles. The flavor of broth is really good. It's a tonkotsu broth, so it's made with pork bones. Delicious. I'm gonna keep eating this, and then the next spot we're hitting up is we haven't planned this, but there's a soft serve place just next door, or like two doors away, and it just looked really good. I just need ice cream. We're in this place called Milk Frappe, and they do soft serve, and it's one of those like perfectly smooth looking soft serve. This is a cookies and cream Kit Kat, strawberry cheesecake. So I'm sure most of you know that there's so many different flavored Kit Kats here in Japan. The rest of the world needs to catch up with the Kit Kat game, but the most popular ones that people come and get is the matcha flavor as well as the wasabi. And I know wasabi sounds a little bit strange, but it's actually really yummy. It's more like a white chocolate with a hint of wasabi. This one is raspberry. I actually haven't tried this before. Strawberry cheesecake. This one's good. This one. I ate like one of it and then I left the rest behind. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Mia. Man on. Is it good to tell my print cookie? I want to see if they have a sample. Oh, they have this, which is a Hello Kitty and... Is this a Hachiko collab? That's so cute! They also have a lot of cute socks here. In case you don't go to Ichiran, you can always come to Don Quixote to get the take home version. And if you like the spicy powder on top, it's here as well. I don't know how legit this is, but the name says Rainbow Potato, it means Rainbow Potato Chips. Based on this photo, it doesn't look very colorful, but how much this one? Probably like a dollar fifty. We take it. I feel like I found something even better. So this is Umaibo's friend. So Umaibo is like a long corn stick thing. So they've cut it up. So it's probably like a cheesel, but it's a mentaiko flavored cheesel. In case you guys are ever in need of a very long salami snack, you can find it here. And it is about $11. One of the things I feel like you should buy in Japan are eye drops. They have such a huge variety. And my personal favorites are the Lisse one. They smell really good and they're pink. And also these ones here, Butte Eye. When you look at the back of the packaging, that indicates how minty your eyes are going to feel. So this one is level 3, so it's like a very comfortable one. This one, for example, is level 7. 
So you best believe when you put this in your eyes, it's gonna feel like it's singing, but once it's over, it's like super refreshed. Like, yeah. I'm in the cleaning section at the moment and I just saw these and they're shaped like little gummy bears. And on the instruction at the back, I think you squeeze them and it dispenses like a little flower thing. And so when you flush, your toilet smells nice. Very nice. I'm actually looking for poo drops. I found the most random thing. This product, you squeeze it on a Q-tip and it's to clean your belly button. You know, because that part of your body sometimes gets neglected. So this thing is here to help you. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!